All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're continuing to walk along this beach and look at what we have already found, two beautiful sand dollars. Welcome back, Salty Reflections here with you, walking along this barrier island beach in South Carolina. We appreciate you joining us. We've already been walking up and down this beach in the last couple videos. Make sure you check those out. We have we found, found some really cool finds. So far, right, One of our coolest is this crucifix fish right there. So make sure you check out our previous couple videos to check out those. How about the giant Easter murex? Yeah, that giant Easter murex you found is awesome too. It is gorgeous. Where is it at? Where is it at? Did you, you hit I, it? No, I put it right there so it would be kind of protected underneath that big whelp, right? I mean, underneath that cockle. Well, we're going to take a look at it real quick. We got, we got plenty of balloon trash Ooh, in here, guys. Nice. Look how big. Look how blue it is. It's old in Vita, but it's a... gorgeous. The color blue just amazes me. We have not attempted to put any oil on a Murex, but the mineral oil that we talk about, but we may have to with that one. Some of our dead man sea fingers. Here you go, Oliver. Hold us for a minute. I'm gonna have to go up here and get this balloon trash I see up in the dunes. You got it? Yeah, I got it. The debris, especially balloon trash and things like that, is very harmful to the wildlife. That can be around these, you know, beautiful natural areas that we love so much. So we want to try and protect that as much as possible and get that trash out of the way of where they could get tangled up in it. Hey, look at this big piece of white sea whip. And you walked over a big moon snail. Wow, I sure but did. But show them that. No, it's broke, but that'll be one of the garden ones for us. And this is, I'm going to leave it here, but I just want to show you the white. We don't find white a whole lot in this area, but a lot of the color is already kind of worn off show of that. Show us the back of that. Walk, walk. Hmm. It's not that bad. Ooh, and a little piece of sea urchin right there. It's more like awesome. Awesome. Oh, you threw your bottle right on top of that. Yeah, but that bottle, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. You think? Not as much as that sand dollar probably would have How about when that clam seal was on it earlier? Sand dollar? I just don't want you to get home and blame it on me. I wouldn't do that. Sometimes beach finds do not make the trip between here and home sometimes, that, so. But that's your job to keep this thing well organized. I'm trying, even if I'm running behind you sometimes with these guys. A little wilt, a little lightning wilt. I always broke them. Broken. Can't believe she's gonna leave it. Hey, that's a pretty one. 
we got to check out the size of that clam set. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Then I see another little knob oil right there. <laughs> I see some more stuff over there and some more stuff right there. Right right see, I told you. It's everywhere. Well, I might have saw that while ago when you bent down to pick up the oil. And look at this clam set. How big. Sand dollar sits right in it. This wagon done got heavy. You don't want all this stuff, do you? You want me to just dump it out right here? Mm, that would be a no. Why? Not unless you want me to you need to fight. Pretty little red arc. I bet you she won't want this one. She don't want it. It's orange. Seb, look at this one. Oh, orange one. You want that? <laughs> you want that little beauty? They probably do. I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. You got me. Here, take it. Don't do that. You won't try to. Oh, look at this. Oh, got a little break in the back, but look how black. That's a strange color angel wing. You didn't hear nothing fall. Oh. <laughs> you picking at me? Pick him, pick him. I, I thought you was like one of those loons that's them. like airing out, drying out. Is that what you were doing? Yeah. <laughs> Walking's got me sweating. Mermaid money. Check out this area right here with all the small shell stuff. Let's oh, yeah. see what's right through here. Don't get ahead of me. I gotta put all these goodies down so I can look for some little. Good, because I don't want you way up there ahead of me finding everything before I can pull this big old heavy wagon. Are you ready? That pants pulled up. I'm ready. What we call the lady's finger is the jackknife razor clam. You coming? You're walking too fast for me to look. Do what? I said you're walking too fast for me to look. There ain't no way. I'm pulling all of this with these big old boots on and you can't keep up. I can't keep up. If you can't keep up now, you should have been seeing me back with my younger day. <laughs> that was uh, 
the good times. You know them old good times we had together, stuff. Oh yeah. I kind of miss them, do you? I'm still having them. Yeah, but I'm talking about them old times. No. You know, like camping at Hunting Island. Oh yeah. We, we always we loved camping at Hunting Island. Island camping at Hunting Island was one of our favorite things to do with our kids coming up. Place they in love South Carolina it. where you can camp right on the beach almost. And back when we were camping a lot, before Hurricane Matthew, which um, took out a couple rounds of the campground, but some of those sites back then were almost right directly on the beach. Awesome. So if you like to camp, definitely check out Hunting Island in South Carolina because it's one of the things that has definitely encouraged our love for this sort of thing made us want to be here beautiful sand dollars these are the things you would find at hunting island as well. but you have to make sure that they are deceased do they ever take the sand dollars or any of the shells oh, right. if alive. they're alive you know, they do help with erosion. Look at that little whelk. Got little oysters all over it. Little worm holes down in it. Wow, look at that. Let's take a look at the inside of that one there, Steph. Look at those purple colors oh, under the sand. Yeah, it does. That's a big old oyster shell there. And two on the back. Yep. You gonna keep that one or not? No, I'm gonna leave it. What? You want it? I don't want it. I'll put it It's away. too big. Huh? Too yeah. big? Yeah. Too big. We better leave it. There's the so many of them out here. The struggle is real, guys. The struggle is real. We have a shell of a problem. Right here in Beaufort, South Carolina with a shell of a problem. So here are some of our beach finds from today. We'll just walk with you guys. Uh, you can see the driftwood, the dead man sea finger sea sponge, the big cockles, the whelk shells, the clam, the angel wings, all the ordinary things that we find right here. Walking with you guys in Beaufort, South Carolina. And we truly thank you for another day of coming along with us. We just are thankful ourselves just to be out here and enjoy this walk and thank God for it. Appreciate each and every one of you who took the time to look at our videos and check them out and the ones of you that have subscribed. But guys, I'm tired. Yeah, we I'm out tired. of here. Yeah. We out of here, right? God bless you all. Make sure you check us out on all the other platforms of course youtube we love youtube but oliver posts a lot of pictures he's much better at it on a lot of social media than i am so that's why i give him props what? for that 
he he posts a lot more i look at it sometimes but he's actually much better at posting she's um, holding back so i'll do it <laughs> <laughs> well that works too all but right. he does post lots of things for you guys to I see on all the other types of social media too so check us out on those instagram facebook we have a facebook group where you guys can even share your own adventures with us so we just love you guys and thanks for joining us